Hello there everybody and um, welcome back to my channel. Now today we are looking again at these kits. Uh, as you can see, if I bring this one in, I've built up three of them. So we've got one there and we got one here and we've got the one down here. Now the differences are on these two I've kept the ceramics uh, but we've got Nichicon filter caps here we've got a rubicon cap here and the nichicon cap here and again nichicon on the input here we got a um, panasonic here i'm pretty sure it's panasonic and a couple of panasonics here and a couple of oh, i can't remember what brand they are i think these could be panasonic as well for the filters and on this one we've got a couple of panasonic this is a rubicon and this is a rubicon on the input and I've kept the ceramics in there. I did play around with a ceramic, um, with a film down here, and also the CB, uh, CB, I can't remember what these things are called. I'll stick it up, CBBs. And um, dinner, I don't know, hours and hours and hours, and it just became a little bit inconclusive for me. But I went back to the, the ceramics anyway, just so I could, you know, just, just do some tests, showing you the difference when you're using a genuine chip as opposed to the ones that get sent out with these. I've seen some other videos where um, they're using Nichicon on here. I'm not quite sure about what's going on there because the lead seems to be shortened already. But, you know, all you can think is that they came with a kit and that they've actually got a genuine chip. Or it seems like genuine chips, the whole setup of the chip, even from looking at the back of them, the whole thing looks genuine enough. But what you get now is not that. You've got these uh, scoops cut out the size, the back looks different, the, the actual emblem on it is different. Yeah, I'll just show you the emblem on one of these. If you can see. Oh, see that there? Let's see if I just can go in. Uh, I'm just getting a bit of focus there. See that there? That's not a genuine chip. The The way that uh, logo is, is similar to the way it should be, but it's not the way it's, not the way it is. So I've got my hand going all over the place. We're going to look at what we're getting on the output. So I've set up again as before. Again, we've got the, uh, the cabling set up. So I'm using two output channels on the, on the power supply. And I've got the plus and minus tied together here. And the plus here and the minus on here. So we've got a full range going from the plus all the way to the minus with a virtual ground in the middle. These two tied together. If you want to see what that looks like over here, because I could just use the one cable, basically I've tied these two together. Yep, so they're the two in the middle of the virtual ground. Then you've got your positive and your negative. Okay. And now we are going to be taking a peek at a little high bee. It's a great little piece of kit this is. It turns itself off. Um, after a couple of minutes of just sitting there, that's why I've got to turn it back on again. And we're going to be using John's um, 1 kilohertz, and I'm just going to go straight in with the 0 0.1 reference. And we'll take a peek actually at the uh, the 1%, so you can see where the actual 1% goes on this. We've got a no reference there, and we've got a 1% reference there. So let's start turning the volume on that then, and have a little look at what that's doing. Yep. So, I think that's on the go. Let's just have a little look at what's going on over here. Hit run over there, and maybe but not on the go. Just start turning that up. Okay, and you can see here. If I just turn this up now, you get to see here uh, at minus fifty. This is probably you near know, to minus forty. Once we get this um, fully up powered, if I just start going up again until we start hitting a bunch of distortion. You can see this coming up now. That's at 92. There's 93. That's quite horrible. 92. Just drop that down. Just so it looks pretty good. 
Now these ones here that you can see, you're not meant to hear anyway. This is minus 81. There's our 1%. 40, minus 40, that's where you'll find that. That's a 1% distortion. All the way up there, look. And we're 0.2 over here on our input, so that's good enough. Um, our second harmonic there is minus 64, and our third here is minus 79, so you're not going to get to hear any of this. Then we've got a ACRMS of 14, 128. Uh, if I just give that one more, we go 14.96, but as soon as we go there, because of the jump in power, it goes straight up to 15.8. Can't really do a lot about that because of the way this is um, incrementing its its volume. It'd be better if, in some ways, you know, I was using a, a signal gen, but I don't have that set up. It's only one channel. I don't have it set up for a pilot coming in. So we'll call it that. I know that this can go 15.5, uh, but we'll just call it 14.9. And we'll take a little peek on that now. One of the things I said I like about this is that I can, um, can I do it with this? I can't, can I? Oh yes I can, sorry. What I can do is I can just stop this here and it holds everything on the, on the screen for me and I can wind this down and take the pressure off the uh, amplifier, which is good we don't need that on there all the time i just leave that looping and you can see on the um, power supply there we're down to a minimum oh, at least you would be able to if i had actually turned on the camera on there so let's just get that going so you can see that's down to a minimum all right so we can get a little better look at what we got going on here like i said there's the there's the uh, 40, minus 40 for the 1%. And we're going to take a peek now at the calculator. And uh, we can just feed in those numbers 14.972. So 14.9. And we can just times that again by 14.9 if you want to do it like this. 9, a little equal to that, and then divide that by 8. And we got 27.75125. Now, like I say, I've, I've actually had this up to 15.5, but that was using um, the wave gen, where I get more uh, resolution on the figures. I don't get that so much, but with the wave gen, I don't have a, I don't know, I've not actually tried to do it like that. I suppose I should actually try to do it like that. I bet you can do it like that with this thing. Stick a pilot signal in as well, using a different channel. While we've got that like that then, let's do it again with the 0 0.1 reference. All right, so I'm gonna start winding up the power on this. Uh, the actual voltage is up anyway, so let's just start winding up this power on this. As you can see, our fundamentals going up, rising, rising, rising. Here comes our 0.1. And now we've gone into clipping. And here we are there at minus 60. So that's, you know, you're not going to hear that anyway. And our first uh, fundamental there, our fundamental there is at uh, minus 0 0.2. And then we've got the minus 64 there on the secondary even harmonic. And on the third, we've got a minus 80 and a minus 60 on our 0.1% uh, pilot signal. So again, that's lovely. Um, if I click up there, should get that a little bit better. I, again, 15.8, it takes us into that clipping. It's unfortunate that I can't go in between um, those two, but okay, what can you do? It's, it says 93 now with the clipping, 92 without the clipping. And we've got our 14.9, we can actually call that 15 volts if we wanted to. And yeah, so that's pretty good. Again, it's nice to be able to just stop this at the top and wind this down just to take the pressure off the system and it helps things cool down a bit as well. So looking at that like that, just using this um, 
using this particular input, I'm now going to swap these out for another one and we're going to see what the difference it makes there. Right, okay, so now we've got uh, this one and this one has got the um, CBB, CCB, ah, CB, I put it up, but this has got the, uh, I think these are Panasonic, I can't remember, Nichicon Panasonic. Um, I will chuck it up on the screen actually for what these uh, caps are that are on there. Uh, I believe this is Panasonic, this is Panasonic, this is Panasonic, this is Nichicon. Again, uh, this ceramic uh, is in here and there's a ceramic down the back of there. I didn't have, a, it's a 331, I didn't have a value for that. It's 330 puff, so I don't have that. So right, we're going to go straight in again with the 0.1 reference to speed these things up. Um, we're going to power this on, may as well go straight, to, well we're not going to go straight in at 25 volt because if I made a mistake with the, um, with the setup, I don't want to just blow things. Well, that looks reasonable. Okay, so we can just go straight up now. Oh, bit of an overshoot. There we go, that extra volt. Alrighty ho. Okay, so let's start running our. Again, and we're already there. A little tiny bit as we're going up. You can see that on here. And. We can see our pilot. I'm just going to take it all the way up to around about 90. There we go, we're on 90. And we're going to go up, up, up. 93. Uh, that's quite noisy, but there we go. That's uh, So we've actually gone one, one up. So if I turn that down again, it's 92, 93. Okay, so that's terrible just for a little while. It looked like it did a slightly better there so a minus 60 again there minus 62 there and that should be 0 0.2 so that looks all around about the same and uh, we got 14.9 there you can see what the power supply is then but we got 14.9 just for the life of me i can't remember what it was on the other one i'm just going to go up one more and this is when we get it's like a minus 55 minus 55 and we got 15.7 and it was 15.8 I think before what it was coming up with. So there is a very slight difference on the way that this is now producing its power. But the nice thing about it again is we can just hit stop on that. I can wind this down in order so we don't um, overstress anything. And it just allows me to keep this running in the loop as well. So it stays on. And we'll do a quick little calculator. Check on that 14.9, not thinking it's going to be much different. We Oh no, we've got 14.9 in there before, times 14.9, but this time around we're just going to do it a different way. We're going to go 14.9 squared and divided by the 8, and we're going to get the same numbers again. 27.75. Now remember, this is keeping that um, distortion level below... 0 0.1 and we're going to come back to that in a second so let me just turn that off again and then we're going to get the other one the final one on there and see how this does okie dokie so this is the final one in now again i'm just going to wind this power supply down because i don't want to do anything crazy on it in case it's not connected properly let's have a quick little look at that it seems to be going up okay Let's go up to 25, 27, 26, 26, 25. All right, so um, let's get this going then. So let's run this. As you can see already, we've got a slight little bit of pilot coming in there. We we'll just turn that on and just run that up to around right about 90 pretty rapidly. Boom, up we go. Do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. Yep, and 91, 92, 93. So, okay, back down to 92. And we got our minus 60 there. We got our minus 62 there. Minus 77, just let me have a look around here. And we should be on a 0 0.2. And we are. Hardly any difference in it whatsoever there, which you'd expect. 
But we can see that these are all doing pretty good. And again, we're not going to bother doing the maths on it this time because it's 14.9. We know what it's going to turn out to be. Now, you've got to remember, this is all going to a peak level of uh, 0.1. Like there, I mean, that's under 0.1 by a couple of dB. And... Um, Okay, it says six one. If I just take that up so they're all being close to each other, uh, we're at fifteen seven. But let's just back that off a bit. So yeah, that's what we wanted to see on there. Let's just take a quick peek at the actual. If we do it like this, now we just get to see clipping top and bottom symmetrically, which is quite good. I wish I could just go in between. Uh, the numbers there but we can't we've got to jump from that to that but now on the next one very quickly we're going to set this up and we're going to get the audio analyzer uh, to check this out okay so we're in the virtual machine with windows 10 and we are now just going to do a total harmonic distortion we're going to do this at uh well we're not even going to bother with that this thing's warmed up and we're just going to look at what the power out is so we're going to go for a range of one watt to 100 watts uh, channel 1, THD, and we're going to run this, and I expect all the results to be pretty much the same across these. They're going to have slight variations in what's going on, but you know, pretty much all the results are going to be pretty much sort of the same. So here we can see it's running uh, along the 0.1% mark, the line there, slightly underneath that if you look over here. We're at uh, 8 watts now, 10 watts, 0.1 still, flashing just underneath it, 18, 19, 20 watts, and we're uh, 23 watts, and we're having a cut off at 1% uh, total harmonic distortion there, that's what we told it to stop at, and if we just look at uh, where we actually get to 1%, you can see we're on 32 watts there, 32.6 watts, and that's at the 1%. You see the, the number here. Let's see as we cross that there, we're on 1%. But even once we're on that, uh, we're on 30 watts here, and we're still at 0.169%. And at 25 watts, 0.104. And if we go to 20 watts, we are at uh, 0 0.89, 0 0.089. So really, there's a massive difference, I think, if we remember correctly, you got up to about 22 watts before, before we were at the 1% with the other chip. And so there's quite a big difference on how these things work. I'm not gonna go through the other ones. I think the video's gone, gone long enough, but the main difference is here. I will agree that there are slight variations when you're running, uh, but they are so sort of minuscule. Um, like, like I've seen in John's, he said, this is an excellent little setup on this board, uh, the way it is. And if you just give it slightly better caps, uh, I know to John's uh, um, Nichicon here, and he's using the Rubicon. I'm not sure what he's got in here. Uh, whether it's the stock one, probably not, it's probably something, uh, no, maybe Nichicon or Rubicon, I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but he's definitely got one of these chips. It looks exactly the same as the ones I have. And these are genuine store-bought RS components chips. That's why I expect them to do pretty good. And there's a big difference between the way that these perform and the way that the ones that you get in the kit perform. So I would say, you know, just with a couple of decent caps and um, the um, the proper chip, you could get yourself a great little amplifier system. Great little amplifier system. Uh, we'll just do it for a little bit of frequency response. Just well, why not? You know, we're here already. Uh, range 10 to 50 hertz. The 50 uh, thousand hertz. No, oh, let me just yeah, just leave it like that. No, I'm going to just stop that. Just put it up to um, line level. I'm going to get a higher than line level. Actually, I'm going to get 0.5 of a of a volt. Okay, so that's probably I don't know 12 volts something like that. Okay. 
All we're looking for here is a nice straight line. Really, you just don't want deviation off all over the place. And we come in here, I think this is uh, 10, 20, 35, I think this could be 20 actually. And we're just looking for that straight line. That's what we want to see. A nice straight line. So as we come in here at uh, 28, this is our uh, 20 hertz. Go all the way over. Uh, that's 35, so our 20 is back here. And yeah, it's fine. There's hardly any deviation in it whatsoever. If we look at that, that says 27.24. And we got 26.96. Nothing at the highest point, I'd say. That's probably about there. And we got 27.31. So nothing. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's fine. Uh, against the frequency, total harmonic distortion. We're going at 10 watts, channel 1. Just a quick peek on that. And they are all, I've done this so many times, in the end I didn't quite know where I was with them. Because they were all so, so similar. Um, all, you know, that ran at 0.1%. If you go slightly higher in the wattage, you can get it slightly lower than 0.1%. It does seem to make a difference there. Um, I don't know, I presume that's because of the noise comes in, but that's fine. As soon as this is finished, we can flick it from the THD plus noise just to the THD and it will show you what it was at that. And it will also show us what it is on the second harmonic and on the third harmonic, so that's worth looking at as well. I'd say a slightly higher wattage um, than the 10 watts this would be a slightly lower level because again, like I say, it's the noise. The lower the voltage is, the more noise um, it will be able to see because there's nothing else there. I'll just go across. And it's quite happy there, look, 0 0.10. Along the line, beautiful. That's at the 20 kilohertz, and that's, you know, past outside our uh, uh, band on this anyway. So, yep, not a problem at all. That's when we get to our 20 kilohertz is there, and we're still at 0 0.09. All right, then we can just flick over to this and get rid of the noise and look at the THD, and that drops it all down again. Uh, so from here at our... Uh, 19.1 hertz, we're at 0 0.100. And if we just come in a little bit to 100 uh, hertz, we're at 0 0.08. Down here, 0 0.08, uh, 0 0.07, even these bits, 0 0.06. So that's even there, now if we look at the second harmonic, uh, the distortion there, that's even lower. So we can see there 0 0.06, 0 0.07, I'm just choosing these random, 0 0.07, 0 0.06, 0 0.05, and at the 20k, 0 0.05, and we can look at the third as well, uh, the third harmonic, uh, we can look at that uh, from our 20k, uh, our 20 uh, hertz, uh, 0 0.07, randomly again, just going through 0 0.04, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, uh, 0 0.06. So it's all good. It's all good. Uh, and that's it. We're not going to bother doing any more just because, um, well, we don't really need to.